Well, welcome to this special video on careers in augmented reality, AR or virtual reality, VR. Well, AR and VR are rapidly developing fields that are revolutionizing the way we experience technology. From gaming to entertainment to healthcare and education, the potential applications of AR and VR are endless in this era. If you are someone who is fascinated by the immersive and interactive nature of AR and VR, then this video is for you. In this video, we will be exploring the various career opportunities available in the AR and VR industry and what you need to do to break into this exciting field. Well, in this video, I will talk about five key points. What is augmented reality and virtual reality? What is the future scope and job opportunities in this career? What skills are required to be successful in augmented reality and virtual reality careers? roles and responsibility of AR and VR engineers or professionals, and then complete roadmap on how to build your career in this field. So if you're ready to explore the possibilities of AR and VR and discover how you can turn your passion into a fulfilling and rewarding career, then let's get started. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta, and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges, and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. Virtual reality and augmented reality both have an exciting potential in the future in multiple fields including gaming, marketing, e-commerce, as well as education. Now, both technologies are known for their enriched experience that brings together a virtual world and the real one with enhanced 3D visuals. It can be easy to mix up the two, but there are a lot of significant differences. So let's try to understand what they are first. Now, augmented reality is designed to add digital elements over real world views with limited interaction. AR morphs the physical world into a colorful visual one by projecting virtual pictures and characters through a phone's camera or video viewer. Almost anyone with a smartphone can use this, making it easy, easily available. Now, some examples of AR applications which you might have been aware of is first is Pokemon Go. Well, Pokemon Go was a popular mobile game that uses AR to place Pokemon characters in the real world environment. Next is Snapchat filters. Now, Snapchat uses AR technology to apply filters to users' faces and overlay 3D objects into the real world environment. This is a perfect example of AR. Now, IKEA Place, an app that allows users to preview IKEA furniture in their own home using AR. So the, there are a lot of applications to this. VR, on the other hand, is an immersive experience that helps in isolating users from the real world by producing an entirely computer-generated simulation of an alternate world, usually via a headset device, sensor, and headphone designed for, each, uh, for such activities. Well, in recent growth of types of realities, it can be challenging to keep up because of their subtle differences. Now, the additional types of digital realities that are actually you might have heard of are mixed reality. Now, combining AR and VR elements so that digital objects can interact with the real world means businesses can design elements anchored within the real environment. For example, driving classes can be torturous online sitting in a simulation for beginners. Next is extended reality. Now, covering all the types of technology that enhance our senses, including the three types previously mentioned. Well, all right, now you understand the different types of reality like virtual augmented. Let's understand more about this career with the future scope, salary offered, and top companies hiring for this particular career. AR and VR is going to revolutionize the way we view the world, learning in terms of learning, entertainment, and a lot of other things. It is already taking over many fields from skill labs without any external consequences to simple uses such as trying on glasses on a website, and this is only the beginning. According to a report by Goldman Sachs, the AI VR market size is expected to reach $1.6 trillion by 2030. Well, this growth is driven by the increasing adoption of AR VR technologies across the wide range of industries, including entertainment, healthcare, education, retail, and many more. Now, as the demand for AR VR technologies continue to grow, so will be the demand for skilled professionals to develop, design, and implement these technologies. Now, some of the in-demand AR VR job titles include software engineers, 3D artists, designers, project managers, UI UX specialists. In fact, I have done a video on UX designers in detail that you can watch here after this video. Now, companies that offer jobs in these roles are Facebook, Reality Labs, Google, Microsoft, Magic Leap, Sony, Amazon, HTC, Apple, Unity Technologies, and many more. Now, these are just a few examples of many top companies that are hiring AI VR professional. And as the industry continues to grow, we can expect to see more exciting and innovative companies entering the market and hiring skilled professionals. Now, when we talk about an average salary of an AI VR role these days in the job market as an entry level, it could be about eight to 12 lakh rupees in India. 
Internationally, for US's national average for any of these profession career is about $85,000 a year. Now, uh, if you are in a bigger role or highly skilled developer, you can earn up to $150,000 per year. Now, the longer you are in the field, the more you can earn. Well, now that we know there's a huge growth in ARVR career, let's explore skills required and job responsibilities and an ideal work day in this profession. Now, as far as skills are concerned, you need to have following few for sure. First is strong technical skills. First and foremost, you obviously need a good background in coding with familiarity to basic programming languages. You will also need a good understanding of 3D graphics. You should know what stack, shaders, and APIs are. Specific technical skills may include programming languages such as C++, Unity, or Unreal Engine, 3D modeling software such as Maya and Blender, an understanding of hardware such as sensors, cameras, and haptic feedback. Next comes creative design skills. Now, creativity and an eye for design are important for AR, VR careers, as these technologies require creating immersive and engaging user experiences. Now, design skills such as UI, UX design, graphic design, and animation are highly valued in AR, VR career field. Next is problem solving skills. Now, these professionals, they need to be able to identify and solve problems that arise in the development and implementation of AR, VR technologies. Now, they need to be able to think creatively and critically to solve complex problems, such as integrating software with hardware, optimizing performance, and minimizing latency. Next comes analytical skills. You should have strong analytical skills as well. To become a successful AR or VR developer, you must figure out solutions to complex problems that clients present to you. And above all, considering it a new and upcoming field, creativity will play a great role as well in this. Next is communication skills. Communication is a great skill to have, and it is an area often overlooked by programmers and technical people. You need to articulate your ideas and concepts well to engage effectively with all your clients in their respective medium of communication. Now, other basic skills can include curiosity, growth mindset, problem solving, attention to detail, and leadership skills. Okay, now let's just talk about roles and responsibilities of an AR VR professional. Some responsibilities of an AR VR developer include developing VR, AR, and MR immersive contents using Unity and Unreal Engine, design and develop software architecture, maintain code quality and standards, understand the technical and specification requirements for the client, estimate development aspects of the project at the initial stage, working on AR projects using AR kit and AR core, develop quality immersive contents and bug fixing, and working on various HMDs in the likes of Oculus Quest, HTC, Oculus Rift, HoloLens, and more. Now, this role also includes effective coordination with the other pipeline heads for successful project delivery, incorporating new and creative technical solutions to optimize system performance, optimizing applications for multiple platforms, working with the team to share knowledge and help in building best-in-class applications, and apply design thinking to the problem-solving process. Now, the role demands a lot from a person and everyone needs a specific skill set for it. So let's work on finding how you can acquire those skills and a complete roadmap on how you can build on this career. Well, if you're exploring this career option, make sure to get some knowledge of the field early through online research, online courses, and build your skill set in this area as mentioned in the previous section. Make sure to develop those skills to be successful in this field. Now, Preparation for becoming an AR or a VR professionals can be traced from your grade 12, actually. Students are required to complete your 12th grade in physics, chemistry, math, or computer science. Right from school, you can start taking online platform courses to develop a basic understanding of the field. Now, I have attached some links and top recommendations to get started with this career. Now, since AR and VR is new field and is mostly a specialization in college, you don't need a degree to pursue this field, but I highly recommend having at least a bachelor's degree to help develop important skills that can help succeed in this field in the longer run. Now, some of the degrees you can pursue would be computer science, game development, visual arts, software or hardware engineering, multimedia art and design, or a related field with similar background. Now, given that it's one of the most popular fields in this time, a lot of universities are offering a lot of programs. Now, some such universities that have world-class programs are, of course, MIT, Stanford University, University of Southern California, University of Washington, New York University, SCAD, Georgia Tech, University of Art London, Imperial, and many more. Now, moving on to the postgraduates. Beginning into this career, having experience as a Unity 3D developer and strong knowledge of C Sharp, AR Core, AR Kit, and AR Foundation will come in handy. I would advise getting an advanced degree too. Though not necessarily required, it may solidify your knowledge further. You can also start by exploring a couple of months long internships and introductory courses and specialization in online platforms like Coursera. Now these courses will give you basic advanced knowledge for latest trends and techniques used in this field. This will help you staying updated. 
And as always, I've updated some of the links for you in the description box. Now, for professionals, a similar background will help you succeed faster in this field. So gain some knowledge through smaller internships to understand the field and general responsibilities. You can also work on some small projects by yourself to create a good portfolio, which I think is good. And of course, it is also an option to start fresh with basics and dive into freelancing work to test out this field through online platforms like Fiverr, build a good work portfolio, and then make a switch. You can look for internships at AR, VR companies, game development studios, or research labs to get exposure to the field and learn from experienced professionals. So that's it guys, an AR VR career path is an ever changing and evolving process. But what never changes in this career path is the need to keep learning and putting the new knowledge to use nonstop. So if you're excited to embark on this wonderful journey, this might be a perfect fit career for you. Well, make sure to like and subscribe and watch this as your next video. Also stay tuned for other great videos on career, college admission and personal development, which I think is the most important aspect for success to keep growing yourself. I will see you very soon.